Royal Wine Museum. I think what they used to call it was a caboose. This is the gold cart where they used to bring the gold down from the gold mines in Kalgoorlie. That's just a replica of the, well, I think it's a replica, maybe not. I don't know. And that's where the guard would have sat to keep track of the money, make sure nobody stole it. This was the suburban train in the 30s in Perth. Remember those old blinds? There used to be a song called the Kiwi Train and it went off, the, the blinds used to go off like a rocket. Do you, who remembers that? I do. dog box with toilets. First class characters. I'm not sure that I can go in that one. But we can go in this one. This was obviously the dining room. It's pretty spooky. And that was the bathroom. They even had showers on these trains. Lucky passengers. Another one that was a bathroom. I'll just keep going down here. And all those were bathrooms. And then we come in here to the kitchen area where the meals were made for the passengers. Remember the old door handles? I've been here before and I think this is really nice in here. I think this is the first, first class carriage. It's quite pretty. in the 60s, 50s, maybe even earlier. It's kind of like you could have a party in here. People dressed up in 50s clothes. Carpet on the floor still. It's 
a little room that the hostesses used to be in. Oh, this was the Australind Express that went to Bunbury from Perth. No wonder it was posh. Toilets. Now we're in second class. Beautiful timber. Hope it's not going too fast for everybody. I remember these things. We used to travel in one of these when we were kids. This was called the bird cage. I don't know why. But my mother used to make us all travel in one of these. It was free because my father worked on the railway and my grandfather. And we used to have to travel from Dunedin to Timaru in one of these so that we didn't disturb the rest of the passengers. I don't think we were that bad at kids. And our trains weren't quite like this. These are pretty posh wooden. Oops. There's a double one. This will be bringing back some memories for people, even if it's not in the same country. It's, it's, um, it's virtually the same everywhere. This one's a beard made up. For those that could afford a beard, it is a B-E-D, not a B-E-R-D. Get the accent. Now we come to all the old engines. 60 years of mainline diesel heritage. And there's my train. That's mine, it's got my name on it. Can you tell? It says we can go off on it, so I'm going to go off on it. There we go. It says Katie. It's my train. I have sat on this one. I think it's this one. I guess I'll have a look in a minute. Have a photo in it. Oh no, it's this one I've sat on. Hi everyone, thought I'd just do my intro from the Historical Railway Museum in Perth. It's quite exciting being here and I'm actually standing on a train that's named after me. So it's called Katie and there's no one around to get a photo of me standing inside it so this will be me inside it. I need a longer arm. So, hope you enjoy this different kind of video that I'm doing, and of course there'll be a little bit of sunset at the end, and something else I've done, I can't remember what it is. Anyway, there's a few things that have gone on it, but this one's the main, this is the main part of the video. Catch us at the end, bye. Now this was the coach that was used for the Queen Mother when she came here in, oh, where does it say, it doesn't say, anyway, I'm not sure if that's the engine that towed her or not, it's a pretty big engine, anyway we shall go in here. So this was called the Royal Carriage. The lounge, I think it was. 
Oops, the upside down. This is the lounge and probably the Queen Mother sat in one of these chairs. Pretty old fashioned, but this is what it was like. Not sure if this was her bed or her security's bed or her lady in waiting's bed, somewhere around it or so. Another bed. This will have been the dining room and the office where all the business work was done. I'm not going too fast. And here we have the kitchen. Oops. This is the kitchen that was used when the Queen Mother came, whatever year it was. Hot water system, stove. I couldn't believe all these things, would you? The old fridge. Electrolux. Uh, that would be the maid's room or the waiter's room or whatever. Some people will be interested in the undercarriage. At least the thing hasn't turned upside down. This is a second class carriage. And that's the men's wash basins and the toilet in there. Vinyl, leather, bed made up. Hello. Hi. Hi. Passenger carriage. That was used up in Kalgoorlie Way, Mikathera. It's quite exciting, really. The wood grain that was used. Oh, I'm in my element. wheels huge when you think about it so big 
Steel. Of course it's steel. So this is the one I'm going to get inside. Can't wait. And this is what my dad and my granddad used to sit on. My granddad used to sit there. Well, not there on this train, but there on... Dad would have sat on one side. And that's where the coal went. And that's where the coal came out of. They shoveled it out of there. I don't think you can see in there. Oh, yeah. it's, a bit of a, it's where the coal was stored. came out through here by shovel. So granddad would have sat here looking through the window, looking out the side. This carried the iron ore from up the back whops. Mines. Still so much restoration got to go on here. That's great that they've got all these trains. These engines, I mean. Oh, look at that. One called the Ashburton. But it didn't come from, this name didn't come from Ashburton in New Zealand. Because there's an Ashburton in WA and there's probably one in the UK. little fellow
those cups that didn't crack. Kalgoorlie Express dining car. Is that the one I took the photo of? I think it is, but from a different angle. The Coronation 53 menu. Passions of trains. I mean, I know this all relates to Western Australia, but basically trains were the same all over the world. There's even one out of the badge from the Philadelphia workshop in the USA. And then they went into diesel. And now they're feeling much like those ones. Imagine it's grown so far. Where's the old Indian Pacific emblem? Gosh, that's old. I don't know if it's got a date on it. They used to keep the compartments cool. Can you imagine in 40 degree weather having feelings of pans like that? Well, this is where I'm going to end my chat. Hope you've enjoyed this video and I've enjoyed coming here again. I like coming here. Please subscribe, like, comment down below if you want, want and I will reply. That's it. And I can't think what else to say. I'll have a poem on the end. Um, it's about a train, so a New Zealand, um, written in connection to my father. So hope you like that one and hope you've enjoyed this little journey through our West Australian Railway Museum. Cheerio, see ya next week.
Hi everyone. Well, it's come to the poem time and the poem I'm going to read today is called Dad's Train. Because my father, as I said in the video, my father used to be a fireman. Um, he acquired this oil cup from the last steam train on the track that did one of the tracks he worked on. I don't know which one, but it only came into my sight towards the end of his rail life, so it may possibly have come from Dunedin. So this is what it looks like inside. Um, when I first got it, it was really, still had the soot on it, um, different bits of stuff, so I had to give it a really good clean so that I could bring it overseas. Um, so it's really quite cool, really. I'm really chuffed that I've got this. Yeah, so that's that. Again. <clears throat> so the poem I wrote at the time was, um, well, I wrote this in 2009. So the steam train chugs down the track, smoke billowing from its funnel. The fireman in the engine cab looks ahead towards the tunnel. Darkness looms as they chug along. It looks an eerie sight. A smile comes upon his face. He loves the feeling of the night. The firebox open, the coals aglow. He shovels more, the faster they go. Through the hills till they meet the snow. And the plough on the engine is ready to go. He lived in a hut beside the track. His wife and child beside him. His baby listened to the sounds. The trains going clickety-clack. The fireman knew when the whistle blew, his day's work had begun. The oil cup sits upon the shelf. It has a pride of place, a souvenir that he was given from the last steam train to ride the track. So that's for you, Dad. And I hope everybody enjoys the video. So we will catch you again next week. See yous. Bye.